Hi, it's Sandra here from Create in Spain and today I'm going to do a little video for you which is going to be a bit of a review of this tool here. It is a Pebaro wood burning tool. Now, I have to confess I am not using it for wood burning, no. Um, you can apparently also use it on leather and uh, there was something else you can use it on. But what I actually wanted to use it for was sealing acetate. A bit like the, there is a, a tool that someone else makes which looks very similar to this. And I, for the life of me, I can't remember the name of it. But when I saw the tool that looks very much like this, uh, the fuse, that's it, the fuse. I was reading comments on it and people said, oh, it took about... 10 or 15 minutes to heat up and I thought that's an awful long time but I had this one and I thought I will just do a review on it because although it's not meant for doing the acetate and creating pockets and things it can do it quite easily so this is unplugged at the moment okay so you're seeing this in real time in the extent that you know how long it takes to heat up and I've got my mat here because I've got a camera on a tripod on my desk and I've worked out that as long as I'm doing something on top of the mat, you should be able to see it, which might keep me from going out of the frame without getting myself in it, which I don't want. Okay, so that's the basic tool and it comes with a set of tips, various ones, which just screw in. Now, obviously, you screw your tip in before you decide to plug it in because otherwise it's going to be very hot. If you want to change your tip, you unplug it, wait for it to cool down or at least use a pair of pliers to change the tip. And they start off this colour all nice and gold and shiny and I will bring them up. Hopefully you can see those. Uh, but after they're used, they go a sort of more muted colour so they're no longer bright and shiny but I don't care about that it doesn't matter and as you can see I've not used all of these because basically I don't need to you can get some other tips for them that have patterns and things I mean there is one there that is a little pattern and there's another one that's a little pattern and you can get some extra ones with things like flower patterns and stuff on them but I'm not unduly bothered I'm just going to have a quick look in my scrap basket to see if I've got any leather to try this out. I'm sure I have, but I've never actually tried using it on leather. It's just a case of whether I can find it in my scrap basket. Um, but as... No, I don't think I can find it quickly. Okay, as you can tell... I'm a bit disorganised this morning. Um... If I were to put my hand near that, it's getting reasonably hot. Now, I've just got some acetate here, and I'm just going to press it on the acetate and see how hot it is. Okay, that's pretty hot. It's actually made a hole in the acetate. So, that was, what, a couple of minutes, and it's up to heat. You can just vaguely see a little trail of fumes there. Okay, so I'm just going to move the... Oops come to the stand which is well not too bad I suppose just going to move these tips out of the way so I don't scatter them everywhere which I probably will do otherwise I've actually put a little bit of um, non-slip backing um, on my stand so that it is more inclined to stay where it is okay so if I just take these pieces and just do this same sort of pressure as I would use with a pen. And the one thing I really dislike on these things are the leads because they're more difficult to handle than tool list. And that's not long enough to actually fuse it together. It's marked the top layer, but it's not long enough to fuse it together. If I go more slowly, like so. that has fused together and I'm pulling really really hard on this and I cannot tear it apart so that has fused okay 
the same thing if I actually want to physically cut it then I just press a little bit harder but I'm still not pressing really really hard just draw the line and there we go it has cut the excess off um, what I tend to do if I want to make sure that I'm doing things more carefully for a meter of finish, I will drag out a metal ruler, which is an easy way of getting your straight lines. Obviously, if you want to do curvy curvy shapes, then you just need to practice. But this is no different to practicing with the fuse, I wouldn't think, because, well, you've got to hold it, you've got to move it. So, okay, if I just want to fuse things together, I can do that. I'm just going to put it down on my mat. It's a silica mat. It's fine. So that is fused together very, very nicely. Not a problem. And again, if I decided that I want to cut it, I'll do it here. And I'm going reasonably quickly, but I am just pressing quite hard. Pressing firmly, I should say, not hard, but firmly. And then that can tear off. And this is quite a, a tough acetate. This is the sort of thing that document folders are made of. In fact, it is a document folder cut into bits. I, I cannot pull that apart. Okay. So... If you don't have a fuse, but someone you know happens to have a wood burning tool in their cupboard somewhere, then you probably don't need to buy anything else. You can use that. Now, I do have in my cupboard, so I will get out when I can find it. Ah, here we go. I have some very thin cellophane. Now, this is the sort of stuff that I buy to put my cards in. If I want to keep my cards, I put them in their own individual uh, bags. And these are very thin cellophane things. Now, if I want to seal it, which I invariably do because I want to keep the dust out and so on, so I've got cat hair in my particular case, I've got two cats that shed like mad, then this is what I would want to use to do it. And I can literally just drag it over very, very quickly. And that has sealed the bag. And I don't then have a problem with hairs getting into it. Do it slightly slower and I will seal it or cut it and seal it, depending on the type of plastic. Some plastics seal and cut and some tend to cut without sealing too much. But that just depends on the type of plastic that you're using. As you can see, that has definitely cut it and it does have a seal on it. Okay, so that's quite good. You can also use this um, if you've got the heat sensitive foils that you put on things you can actually use this with those as well and if you find that something is cutting when you only want it to seal just get some grease proof paper baking paper baking parchment and use that on top of your surface and then use there we go and you find it just takes that extra bit of heat out of it. So if you don't want it to actually cut it, it will actually just seal it for you, even if the material is very, very thin. But this is really good. I mean, if you do want to do this thicker sort of acetate or plastic stuff, or even thicker than that, because I didn't have to press really hard to seal it, you can do it with this. And you can choose your different tool heads to well, according to what effect you want to get I suppose um, so yeah it does have more uses and again you are supposed to be able to use it on wood obviously and on leather to brand leather and making key rings and things like that if that's what you want to do but it heats up very quickly it will do the job exactly the same and you may find that if you can't get a fuse at a reasonable cost 
that this may be a viable alternative. This one cost me, I think, uh, something about 20 euros. Um, but that was just from a local shop. I didn't go hunting for the cheapest bargain. And I think you can probably find them cheaper than that. Okay, that's it. Thanks for watching. Bye-bye.